What's up guys, TG back here with a recap and review of Your Honor Episode 6. The episode starts off with Michael trying to figure out who is stalking and blackmailing him, and all he has to go off of is a part of the guy's license plate and the type of car. Michael is able to make up a story and get Nancy to give him info on who it could be based off that information. Meanwhile, Adam continues to be one of the dumbest characters I've seen on TV, and goes out with Jimmy Baxter's daughter, Fia. Michael then finds Edward, one of the people linked to the license plate number, and he finds out that his son Trevor stole his car and could possibly be the guy that is stalking him. Adam and Fia break into an abandoned amusement park and hang out for a little bit and discuss her father. Fia explains to him that Jimmy is misunderstood and is actually a good person, which we know is a lie. Adam also takes a picture of Fia during this time, which, like I said, he just continues to be really dumb and make... Not good choices if he doesn't want to get caught. Michael catches a ride with the guy that is stalking him, Trevor, and the guy doesn't recognize him, which kind of surprised me. He knows everything and even broke into Michael's house, so he definitely should know what he looks like and should be able to recognize him. After he gets to his location, Michael gets out of the car, but leaves a phone in it to contact Trevor with a new meeting location. Michael gets home after, and parked outside of his house are Jimmy and Frankie. Around this time, Adam and Fia are making their way back to Adam's house, and while in her car, Adam kisses her. Dude's really just a little psychopath, because he really is just out here kissing the sister of the guy he killed, with no remorse, like it's nothing. Frankie is getting ready to enter and kill Michael, but just on time, Fia pulls up and drops off Adam. Jimmy sees this, and has Frankie drive away. Later that night, Fia is talking to her dad and suggests having Adam over so they can talk man-to-man, face-to-face. I personally love to see this scene because I don't think Adam can handle talking to Jimmy knowing he killed his son. But who knows because he seemed to do it fine with Fia. But, you know, something tells me that it's not going to go as well with Jimmy. Jimmy is a scary guy. Lee starts digging into Kofi's murder, gets a second autopsy done, and is able to get someone to give up Carlo. For confirmation, she's able to get a DNA test, and DNA from the crime scene matches up to Carlo. Michael and Trevor meet up, but they are interrupted by Jimmy and Frankie. Jimmy is about to kill Michael, but he brings up the fact that Carlo is about to get arrested for murder. He tells Jimmy that he can make sure he is the judge on case, and can make sure that Carlo stays free. So, Jimmy doesn't kill Michael, but looks over to Trevor and wants to know how much he knows. Michael admits that he knows everything, so Jimmy kills him, ending the episode. Michael giving up Trevor, knowing he would die, was really surprising to me, because I know he's obviously going down a dark path to protect his son, but I didn't think that he would just give him up like that, knowing full well he would be killed. It really just shows how far he's going to go to protect not only himself, but his son. That scene also reminds me of Breaking Bad, when Walter White is about to get killed by Mike. But he brings up Gale and the fact that he knows his address and has Jesse kill him. Um, they were just really similar. And I think if anyone watched Breaking Bad, you recognize that as well. This episode was probably my favorite so far in the series. And things are getting really intense. I'm excited to see how things go now that Jimmy is aware it wasn't Kofi. And now thinks it is Michael. I didn't really have any problems with the episode. Uh, the only thing that didn't really make sense was Trevor not recognizing Michael because he 100% should have, but that's okay, wasn't really that big of a deal, and Adam just continues to be an absolute idiot, but that's not a problem, that is just his character, I just want to point that out again, one of my least favorite characters that I ever watched. That is it for this video guys, thanks for watching, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will be back next week with episode 7.